I thought I would start off with a little history on Cyrus O'Leary since they are way over in Washington State. I figured nobody knows anything about them. Uh, it was actually a restaurant in 2001, or I'm sorry, 1981. They opened up and it was like the great restaurant to go to. They had the train running through the restaurant and all the memorabilia on the walls and uh, great food and even greater pie. And the pies became very popular. In uh, 1987, they had to move to another facility to make pies, and that's where they started delivering to the grocery stores and local restaurants. In 1996, they started making a frozen line of pies. And in 2002, we opened up our facility that we have now in Airway Heights, Washington. It's just west of Spokane. And uh, here's some echoes. <laughs> um, and uh, so now we make frozen pies, frozen quiche, frozen cheesecakes. Uh, we even make muffins, dinner rolls, uh, cornbread, single serves. That's probably our most popular line. Uh, where it's great living in Washington State. We have, uh, we're like the fruit capital of the world. We have everything, apples, pears, um, all the great fruit, also all those wheat fields. We have our, uh, our flour for our pie crust milled locally and a great deli or dairy that supplies us with uh, all kinds of milk, whipped cream, uh, half and half, all that great stuff. Um, if you're a label reader, you would see the first ingredient on our label is not water, we have uh, milk for our cream pies and fruit for our fruit pies. Uh, we have three owners. We actually have a Cyrus, uh, Cyrus Vaughn, Barclay Klingle, and Dennis Dippo, who is on the pie board. Uh, everybody's missing him. He couldn't make it this time. Uh, any, anyway, in doing uh, product development, I see all kinds of great ideas that just aren't practical for the wholesale bakery. So I'm going to show you some of them that I do at home, mostly for my grandkids, but uh, I have lots of fun doing them. I'm gonna start with a pie in a jar. And uh, when I first started making pie in a jar, I was trying to fit all the pie crust all the way up to the top. And uh, it just didn't bake evenly because sometimes I would have two, three layers trying to smooth it out and all that kind of stuff. So it dawned on me that I just needed to cut out a little round and it was a whole lot easier just fitting that little round in the bottom. You could grease it if you wanted to, put a little spray in there, but a spoon as you're scooping it out, eating it works just as well. This one I'm making today is cherry. So there's your little pie in the bottom, or pie crust. I fill them with whatever kind of filling you would like. Uh, you know, something that should be baked, of course. I'm using cherry today. I fill it probably about two-thirds to three-quarters of the way full. Is that a special jar? It's, you know, a cur jar or a canning jar. They bake really well. I've never had any trouble with them. I like the little half. Yeah, just a canning jar. Yep, I like these little half pints, are just perfect, I think. Don't want to fill it too full. And then for the top, I like to do some lattice. Just to make it look even more special. And so I, I have brought some t-shirts and that kind of stuff here today, and I was going to do a little uh, pie trivia also. Whoever answers, who would like a Cyrus O'Leary's t-shirt or a Cyrus O'Leary's mug? Let's see, how about, this is the easy one, when's National Pie Day? Okay. <laughs> Every day, yeah. <laughs> yep, there you go. Would you like a t-shirt or a mug or what would you like? All righty, come on up and grab one. I got a long sleeve. You'll see the size and stuff there. You pick out whatever you would like. 
All right, so I make my lattice. Usually I make a big square. Usually I make a, a big square because I usually do about six at a time and then just cut them out like you would a cookie. I'm gonna go right in the middle. Today, since I'm only making one, And it's starting to get a little bit soft, so it's probably not going to cooperate as good as it usually does. But I like to lay it just right in there. Like that. And then I always give it a little bit of egg wash before I bake it, just to, I don't know if you've seen my little sample I had here, the nice shine on the, the egg, or on the pie. Just a little bit of egg wash. These are lots of fun. And then uh, with the, the pie down, after you bake it like that, that gives you room for a scoop of ice cream on the top. So I bake them probably 350 for about 20, 25 minutes. Yes, definitely. Yep. And I do have some, you know, just the ideas that I'm doing today if you would like one. So the next one I'm going to do is one that I've done for my grandkids, and these are awful examples. They've been out for a couple of days now. But uh, it's little pumpkin pies for Halloween. I did at one time before it got all melted, had a nice little uh, pumpkin face on him. But it's pretty much, it's very, very easy. You make your pie dough, cut out your little rounds, and then just fit them in your mini muffin tin. Kind of work it up on the sides there. And again, you can grease it. It would help it get out and not be so hard to work with. And of course, the pumpkin's got to have a stem on them. So I just find what I would think would be the perfect place to put a little stem. Just like that. Let's see if you can see that there little stem for like a little pumpkin. And then sometimes I do make them like for the Thanksgiving table for adults. The same way, just kind of press it in your tin there. And I don't put a stem on them. And I decorate them another way. I will show you that. But make up your favorite pumpkin pie mix. And then just pour it in there, and I go almost all the way up to the top. Try not to get too carried away because it will, you know, kind of souffle as it gets up to the top there. And again, I bake these at 350 for probably uh, 10 to 15 minutes. You just kind of keep an eye on them, see how they go. But when uh, I do them just for uh, Thanksgiving, I like to make these little cutouts to put on the top like uh, little acorns or leaves, that kind of thing. And uh, they're pretty easy. Just cut them out out of your, I'm sure you've probably even done them before. Uh, cut them up out of your dough and uh, put a little egg wash on them. They look really nice sitting on your, well, I've got, even got some here. Just like that. The next one I'm going to do is, I think of the cake decorator in me. Uh, love this one. And it's an apple, apple rose pie. And for that one, I take a strip of dough, oh, probably about eight to 10 inches long and about an inch and a half across. And I don't have any butter with me today, but usually I brush a little butter on him. And then a little uh, cinnamon sugar, because you gotta have cinnamon sugar for your apple pie, of course. And just as much as you like. It's not, after you make them a time or two, you'll, you'll decide how much you like on there. 
And then, and while you're, of course, getting that all ready, you should already have your apples ready. And what I do is take my uh, red-skinned apple, one that I know won't uh, mush up after I bake it, and I cut it in half with one of my good knives at home. Take out the uh, core in the middle, and I just use my spoon, because I don't want a whole lot of the, uh, the apple to be gone, just mostly the seeds. So I got that nice round center there. And then just start cutting your apple into slices. Usually I cut it in half again and start cutting real thin slices. About this thin. And then what I do is put those into water that has a little lemon juice in it and uh, cook it up on the stove in a pan just till it comes to a boil. And when it uh, gets done boiling, I pull it off, let it cool for just a couple of minutes, and then I put it in between paper towels and dry it off good to where it's easy for me to handle, not too hot. And I start arranging my apple slices with just uh, like this rounded part here sticking out. And I overlap them. So while I'm doing that, uh, putting the apples on there, let's see. How a yes, just to soften them up so they're, I'm sorry, I should have explained that too, so they're bendable. Uh, Uh, I haven't been able to. I've tried them super, super thin on my mandolin, and uh, it's just not, yeah, it's never worked for me. Uh, I get to, question, I was wondering, could you skip the boiling part? Yeah. So just continue to put your apples on your strip till you get the whole strip filled. And the redder the apple, the better, if you really want that red color on there. Uh, when you do cook them up, that's the bad thing about it. They do kind of fade a little bit. So after I get that all on there, I fold this other half up over it. And just kind of secure it on there, make sure it's on there good and flat. That's where the butter comes in real handy. And then just start rolling. And of course, the longer the strip, the bigger the rows you get. Let's see. What do I do with my, oh, here they are. Usually, this size I'll bake in a cupcake mold at home. Uh, the smaller ones, of course, you could bake in the little mini muffin tins. Again, I bake those at about 350. For the, I've, they take about 20 to 25 minutes, just begin, depending on how big they are. All right, and my next idea, or I've seen this before, and this one is probably my favorite. It's my favorite of my grandkids, uh, pie on a stick. course make your dough roll it out nice and thin or as thick as you would like it my dough here probably is about an eight inch eighth of an inch and cut out any shape you want of course you've got to have a top and a bottom I'm 
could do a heart shape today too. I mean, you don't have to put the stick in, you can have cute little hand pies here also. Move all that dough, all that excess. And then kind of arrange them at the top of your, uh, front of your baking sheet. And then the trick with these guys is to be careful how much filling you put on them. You know, it's just, the, of course, I have the cherry here again, but I only do maybe two cherries, not a whole lot on this size. This is about a three inch circle. And the same with the, the little heart shaped. I don't want to get carried away. But what I do do is you could rub some of that uh, pie jack on it and that would help it to taste good where you don't have fruit. And then put your stick in if you're going to uh, have pie on the stick. And do a little egg wash again around the edges. <clears throat> and then you can put your tops on. Of course, I like to cut a little hole out to uh, venture pie. So I got a little heart cutter here. And this one's just going to be a little hand pie. And I got a little circle in here. I'll do for the round. And then you want to kind of seal your edges together. And I, this is my rose making stick that I use for decorating, but of course you could use the end of the uh, extra sucker or uh, uh, stick for your uh, pie in a stick also. And then just kind of press it around so you get a good, oh, you know, a little pattern going on there so it looks nice, of course, too, is the way to go. These are fun little things. Just kind of press it in there. So while I'm pressing, does anybody else want a Cyrus O'Leary's t-shirt? How about, what's the state pie of Illinois? Pumpkin. Yep, pumpkin. Yep, come on up and get a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, help yourself there. There's a couple of different sizes. Oh, did you? Oh, good for you. Well, you deserve a t-shirt then. All right, so you get it all around like that. And I like to put an egg wash on that one also. And my egg wash is pretty simple. I just use one whole egg to about two tablespoons of water and just mix it up really good. And I didn't smash that one down, but I should have. And then sprinkle a little bit of crystal sugar on it. Or, you know, if you don't want the sugar on there, don't, don't put the sugar on there. And then that's another one that I bake at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Mine, mine was really fast, that's my last pie. Is there any questions, anything I can answer for you? Like I said, I do have some write-ups if um, anybody's interested in them. Now, why aren't they what? Why didn't you? Why didn't Cyrus? 
Oh, aren't they sellable? Uh, just the time they take. We don't do a lot of hand work. We're a machine run company. Um, we have the Colburn uh, like 11 plate and that kind of thing that makes our pies. So as much as I would love to do them, my boss would probably kill me if I brought those in. But uh, yeah, they're fun to do. Uh, I've seen them on uh, like a, a cream pie or a cheesecake, and then they're just loaded with those little uh, roses on them, the apple roses on them for decoration, yeah. But um, yeah, it's not uh, practical at our It's fun to do, uh, yeah. Your friends ooh and all when they see it and think you've done all kinds of special things for them when you, you make it for them, but yeah. Just not practical in the bakery, unfortunately. Do you have any other questions? Hang on one second. <laughs> uh, Excuse me, what size cutters are you using for your pies on the stage? Uh, this one is a three inch also. And my heart's, you know, right about that same size. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is a two inch. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Hanging around and, and checking out. He he's a uh, an impromptu song lyricist. I don't know. 